Welcome to a bonus episode of Simple Art at Home with me, Laura Houston. Today's theme is going to be about voting and qualities that make a good leader. So as you can see, there are some campaign buttons here on my easel. Your task today is going to be to draw, paint, or create your own campaign button. Have you ever thought what it might be like to run for class president or school president? Well, you might do that someday. So I'm going to challenge you to create your own campaign button. And the goal though, is I'm gonna ask that you list at least two or three qualities of what makes a good leader on your button. So let's talk some more about campaign buttons first. Take a look at this button that belonged to former President John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy ran for president in 1961. Here are a couple of different examples. Campaign buttons used to be very, very popular. Even our first president, George Washington, uh, used campaign buttons. And it was just a way for the supporters, the public supporters, to show who they were supporting for a presidential election. They could wear these buttons around town. Nowadays, we see um, like bumper stickers and yard signs, and even you know people use internet to show who um, they support. But I'm going to take us back to the old-fashioned campaign buttons. Um, before we start, I want to review with you um, qualities that make a good leader, because I know that um, you've been working on um, learning all about voting and citizenship and what makes a good leader. So first of all, you know, good leaders need to be socially aware. And that means that, you know, a good leader would understand how others feel. We call that empathy. And a good leader um, can view the world through multiple perspectives and also have respect for others. A good leader has excellent relationship skills. So they are able to communicate well, they can build trusting relationships, and they're just a really good team player. Good leaders are also responsible decision makers. They can identify problems and, and find solutions, and they can help make decisions that would help everybody. And in doing that, they have to be able to look at both sides of an argument. And lastly, um, a good leader has good self-management skills. They can control their impulses, um, they are organized, and they are self-motivated to succeed. So when you create your um, button or your pin, and I'm gonna show you an example, I'm going to ask that somewhere on that pin, you either draw icons that represent two or three of those great qualities or write it out in words. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the table and show you some examples. Okay, so I created a time-lapse video of uh, my own campaign button. So I imagined a student named Kate. And so my button will say, vote for Kate. And so let's take a look at that video now.
So here is the final product and I wanted to talk you through my thoughts and my technique a little bit. You saw me start with a salad plate and you know that I always like to use um, objects from the kitchen to get circles perfect. I really suggest that you do that because it's really hard to draw a circle by hand and it's much better if you are able to trace something. I used a uh, just like this traditional uh, pattern but I really encourage you to go online and look up different examples of voting buttons because there's so many out there. And I also used, you could see this, um, I have this little tool that I like to use for making perfect circles. And I used it here to start the edges of the heart that I turned into hands. And you might be wondering about this symbol that I chose to use. I chose to use a combination of a heart and shaking hands because when you shake hands with someone, it's a sign of respect and it's usually a sign of a greeting or some sort of an agreement. And um, since I decided that I wanted to choose that Kate uh, was responsible, respectful, and a problem solver, I liked this symbol to represent. You know, you can do your campaign button any way that you want, and you would put your name here. Um, you, don't just say vote for me because that doesn't tell who you are. Like, let's say your classmates, pretend that your classmates would be wearing your button around if this were turned into a real pin that they would wear, maybe put on their backpacks or on their shirts. So you wanna have your name here, and maybe this is going to say school president, or maybe if you attend Edison Elementary School, you would say like Edison Elementary School president. Make it up, this is, you know, just get creative, think outside the box. I was trying to come up with other ideas for you um, that you could put as far as symbols go. And I did come up with a few ideas. So these are scales. You know how you would put different objects here and the scales would balance up and down. So scales usually represent fairness and honesty. So this could be an option to put on your campaign button. I also like the idea of a light bulb with an exclamation point inside. You know, light bulbs usually represent ideas. Um, maybe that could represent that you're a problem solver or a decision maker, because those were two different qualities of good leaders as well. Um, there's a heart with a flame that could be show how um, you are passionate, you know, to get things done, or you're inspired um, to do very well. A target could show that you are focused and that you want to accomplish goals. I noticed the word team player was on that um, table as well that showed qualities of a good uh, leader. And I'm wondering, just to kind of throw that out there, could you use team player somehow? Could you represent team player somehow on your um, campaign button? Okay, so I hope I've inspired you. All I'm doing is just hopefully giving you some ideas. I want you to be creative and also have fun with this. And think about the colors. I, I chose red, white, and blue because those are traditional colors for presidential campaigns. But again, it's up to you how you would want to design your um, presidential campaign button. So I am going to head back up to the easel. So I hope I've given you some ideas. Remember, your job is to imagine that you are running for school president or class president and you are going to design your own class president or school president campaign button. However, you need to list two or three qualities um, that will show everyone that you are a good leader. I hope you have a lot of fun with this project and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.